Hello out there, Dark Age Camelot community. If you're watching this video, it's because you're looking to find out how to earn realm points on the Gehara server if you're new to the game and you're frustrated with the PvP servers. Um, the beauty of being on Geharis is you can progress at your own rate. Um, all you got to do is head into the new frontiers and you can take on some of the keep guards at some of the keeps, some of them you cannot. There are also areas in EV where you can kill Darkness Falls moths and they will drop dreaded seals. As well as in the Labyrinth. Uh, the Labyrinth is actually very popular on Geharis which is really cool because you can get a lot of good gear like my beloved Muxog shield uh, the shield that the counterfeit Cindy Linux on Ywain does not have because nobody on Ywain runs the Labyrinth anymore okay now I'm going to go ahead and switch there are four types of seals okay you have the Lambent Dreaded Seal, which is made by taking 10 Glowing Dreaded Seals. All right. There's also a Lambent Dreaded Seal that is made from 10 Sanguine Dreaded Seals. Now, only the Keep Lords drop the Sanguine Dreaded Seals. All right. Once you get to the Lambent, Okay, you can you can take five Lambent and make a Fulgent Dreaded Seal. All right, once you have five Fulgent Dreaded Seals, you can make Effigent Dreaded Seal, which is the maximum number of realm points you can get on any seal turn in at the Dreaded Seal Collector NPCs and the different border keeps, uh, relic towns, as well as I believe capital cities. Um, in this particular video, I managed to save up enough seals to get an, eff an effulgent, okay, which I believe is the equivalent of 250 glowing dreaded seals. As you can see, Cindy is at 6L7. She is currently showing 1.57 million realm points. Okay, but we have a few bonus items here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and use the Bougain. So we're going to get a 25% bonus. All right, they're also worth bounty points. So we're going to go ahead and burn a bounty point charge off of my Mithril Potion. And we're going to go ahead and burn the 100% Realm Point bonus. And while we're at it, let's make sure the guild buffs are up. And I've never actually turned in one of the maximum seals before. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how many realm points this is going to get me, but we're about to find out. And that just put her to 8L7. From 6L7 to 8L7 on one turn in, uh, 1.57 million to 3.73 million realm points. take quite a bit of time to achieve 250 glowing dreaded seals unless you are running in groups as you are not able to solo a keep with most classes on this server um, I will be doing a video on what happens when you get too close to the keeps and what color the guards con as there are three low level keeps that you can farm the guards solo all right, uh, you can still use Siege on this server. Uh, pretty much game functions normally. Let's see, what does that do for my stats? Let's 
So one turn in with all the bonuses active, 2.15 million realm points. As always, folks, thanks for watching.